My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. In this episode, we're headed to Copenhagen, Denmark. We've only got one day here, but we'll try to cover as much as we can. Here's some quick facts about the city. The population is 1.3 million people. It's currently the number one most visited city in Scandinavia. And based on a 2013 study, it's considered the happiest city in the world. The train from the airport into town is $5.41. For breakfast, I went to 7-Eleven and got what looked like a Danish stuffed with a hot dog. It was good. We're staying at the generator hostel for 45 bucks a person. Generator hostels usually have a lot of games and a lot of young people, so if you're a backpacker, this place is for you. They've also got pool and cheap beer, but we've got things to do. We're starting out the day with a free walk in the park. Hungry ducky. Hungry swanee. And I don't know what this little guy is, but he's got a white head and I like him. Everybody bikes in Copenhagen. I'll just run. I'm running over to the indoor market to get some classic Danish smorbrod. It's more or less a fancy open-faced sandwich, but they're delicious. They start at nine bucks and go up from there. That it's almost like a slider. Good. It looks so good. Can I get one? <laughs> Gonna... They all look pretty good. Very good traditional Danish food. Very good. Time to check out the old port. It's a 17th century waterfront, canal, and entertainment district. Welcome to Copenhagen! <laughs> it's a great place to take a date or take a picture. We're taking an hour long cruise for seven bucks. The canal was dug in 1670 by Swedish prisoners of war. Danish author Hans Christian Andersen lived there for some 18 years. Full of cargo ships and fishermen, the area was notorious for gambling, drinking, and of course, prostitution. But for better or worse, it's a lot more family friendly these days. You really can't beat the price. Seven bucks to cruise around the old city. I'd say that's a pretty sweet deal. Especially if you like going under bridges. Just watch your head. It gets pretty close. I think it was right about now the captain yelled at me to sit back down. Park. This park is the country's oldest royal gardens and is visited by an estimated 2.5 million people a year. What is it, Jer? Um, it's a maze for ants. 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. Although it was a spectacular sunset spot, we decided to head back over to the old port because we were told we needed to cross the bridge into the free town of Christiana. It's a commune of about a thousand people who are known to be pretty wild. Not these guys. I'm pretty sure this is just a bunch of American tourists. Christiana is actually somewhat of a hippie village. They claim their own government and do not follow Danish law. So as you can imagine, that's brought quite the black market to the area. Thus, this footage of the skate park is all they would let me shoot. A very large man told me I looked like an undercover cop and said he'd smash my camera if I even tried. And there were way more of them than there were of us. So you'll have to use your imagination. Picture a Grateful Dead or Fish concert. It's a lot like that. And although I can't show you the weed section, they do have cafes and food, as well as shopping. And honestly, I gotta say the whole thing seems a little bit silly to me. I mean, come on Denmark. It's 2019. Just legalize pot already. You can't film here, but come back tomorrow and smoke a joint. Yep. <laughs> I swear he's joking. I promise he's just smoking tobacco. Scout's honor. Although we didn't partake in any marijuana, we did find some cheap shots on the way back to the hostel. Of course, we need to end the night with some delicious convenience store food. It's almost as good as the pork in Thailand. I don't know why mine's smaller than hers, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we supposed to say here? What do you want me to say? Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> what the f***? Let's go! I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got anything to say, Jared? Well, now that you mention it, just remember, you can do this too. At the time, we thought we were so clever. Oh my God. I love it here. Hungry fishing. That damn bird. <laughs> what a thief. Hungry fishing. You got it that time. I somehow happen to find swans nearly every country I visit. This swan looks a little angry. <laughs> He's bad. Nice two dollar Danish beer. This fancy establishment with a view. Just kidding. It's 7 Eleven. I know. Thank you to have it. <laughs> can't believe it. You watched it all the way even past the flute guy. You're a true fan. So here's a little easter egg for you. The gasoline grill. Used to be a gas station, now they serve burgers. I stopped by to grab one on my way to the airport. It's not cheap, but it's good. It tastes like gasoline. Just kidding. It's pretty good. 